What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves yet another banger of a team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with an Ampharos team that also features Volt Absorb Pachirisu alongside with Guts Heracross. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go get on top of that, people. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. So I'll give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But uh, let's get started here with the one and only Ampharos, everybody's Gen 2 favorite. It's rocking the Life Orb as its item, alongside with the static ability. Moveset is pretty solid with it. We got Volt Switch to pivot out, and it works as a stab move too. And then we got Discharge for double hitting moves and to heal up our Volt Absorb Pachirisu. Last but not least, we got Protect, and our coverage move is going to be Dragon Pulse. Second Pokemon on the squad is this lovely little squirrel Pokemon over here. We got Pachirisu with Follow Me, Protect, Super Fang, and Nubbles. So this thing's here just for control and nice little support. It's got the Follow Me to protect the ally Pokemon, the Super Fang to do half damage, and then Nuzzle just to paralyze and control. Ability is going to be Volt Absorb, which works perfectly with the Ampharos because, like I said, we can go into Discharge, deal damage to both our opposing Pokemon, alongside with healing our Pachirisu at the same time. So we can constantly just Follow Me, Discharge, keeping this Pachirisu alive, and keeping my Ampharos doing more damage. Last but not least, we got the Citrus Berry on this little Pachirisu because, you know, we want this thing to stay alive as long as it possibly can. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gardevoir. Choice Scarf Gardevoir, you guys see me use this Pokemon multiple times. Super, super good, super fast, and hits like a truck. We got the Choice Scarf, like I just mentioned, alongside with the Telepathy as its ability. And then last but not least, Moveset is fairly normal with Moonblast, Psychic, Dazzle Gleam, and Focus Blast for our lonesome coverage move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Gyarados. Cannot go wrong with Gyarados. Such a good Pokemon. It can set up with the Dragon Dance. It's got the Waterfall and Ice Fang for coverage. And last but not least, to protect. Obviously, its ability is going to be Intimidate. And then the item it is holding is that Lumberry. So it can protect itself from any status conditions coming towards its way. Fifth Pokemon, Scizor. Do I have to say anything? Not really. Everything's normal. Metal Coat, Technician, and then fairly normal moveset. I'm not going to say much about him. You guys already know that thing is an absolute beast. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be this lovely little Heracross over here. We got Close Combat, Mega Horn, both for stab moves. We're also rocking Facade because this thing is holding the Flame Orb as an item alongside with the Guts ability. So Facade will do double damage whenever this thing is under a status condition. We got Protect for a fourth and final move. Like I said, Guts. And then last but not least, item is going to be Flame Orb. There it is, guys. There's the team preview. You guys already know the deal. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Look to grab some wins with this Pachirisu and Ampharos team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video. And we're going up against a really cool team. He's got Crawled on, Heatran, Azelf, Breloom, Hitmon Top, and Espeon. Really cool team. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win here and get rolling here in battle number one. But who's he going to lead and how's he going to go into this? I feel like Ampharos and Pachirisu could be a solid lead here. Just going straight into this combo and rolling out with it. I don't mind it one bit. I do not mind it one bit. So, you know, we're going to go in with both of them. I am going to bring Gyarados in the back end because Gyarados is just great for Intimidate and uh, taking out that Heatran. Or do I go Heracross instead? Nah, I'm going to go Gyarados here. Gyarados and then probably Scizor, right? Scizor's just too good. He's just way too good. It's either Scizor or Gardevoir. We need something with speed. We need something to hit hard. So, which one am I going with? I think we're going to go with Scizor just because he has that uh, that Heatran. But still, Heatran can dump on Scizor. That's my problem. But we have the Gyarados for that. I'm going to go Scizor. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But like I said, our opponent has such a cool team. So I'm curious to see what he's going to be doing with it. I'm just hoping he's bringing that Espeon. Espeon's just such a cool Pokemon. It really is. I feel like it is a very underrated illusion, especially in at least Sword and Shield. You don't see it, like, at all. At all. You see, you see uh, mainly just Umbreon. And you still see Sylveon a lot, but you don't see Sylveon that much either anymore. I'm trying to think, what other evolutions do we see in Sword and Shield? It's pretty much just Umbreon at this point. Never see no Vaporeons, never see Leafeon. You see, actually, Glaceon a little bit. Glaceon and Leafeon a tad bit, a tad bit in weather teams, but not really anymore. Not really anymore. So hopefully he's bringing that Espeon, like I just said. But he's going to end up leading the Hitmon top alongside with the Heatran, which I'm cool with. I am cool with the Heatran coming out here. Um, but what should I do from here? He's probably going to fake me out, right? He's probably going to try to fake out my Ampharos. So, you know, what? I'm just going to protect and I'm just going to nuzzle the Heatran. Do I nuzzle the Heatran? I think nuzzling up on the Heatran could be good and start slowing down these Pokemon. But yeah, I'm going to protect, try to block this fake out coming in here, and then just, you know, nuzzle up. Start dropping some Paralyzes on the field. Get my Pachirisu out here. I love me some Pachirisu. Pachirisu is just like Toga tomorrow. He's just, it's just there to pester and support around. And you guys know in Sword and Shield, I love me some Toga tomorrow. But Toga tomorrow is not in this game, so we're going to settle for Pachirisu here. But yeah, I think the fake out's going to come over onto the Ampharos slot. So we're going to protect it, allow our Pachirisu to kind of slow down, and then we'll kind of roll out next turn. Intimidate came out here, but we're special attackers. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. We don't mind it one bit. We do not mind it one bit. 
Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. Thinking a lot. He's thinking a lot. I think he's guessing if I'm uh, protecting my Ampharos, which we are. Look at that big shield coming out here. Let's see what it is. Fake out my Ampharos, please. You son of a biscuit. How dare you? How dare you? Heat wave comes through here. We're going to be able to block, and he's going to roll from there. Dang, we could have shot a nice little discharge here. But uh, he's going to deal some damage to my Patrovisu, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. And this thing's going to show that he's orbed. He is orbed. We're going to pop a Citrus Berry, and then do I just go into a follow me here? What's my play here? What is my play? This thing could be Rock and Wide Guard. Could definitely be Rock and Wide Guard, but we're just going to go into a discharge here. And is Patrovisu faster than my Ampharos? I'm really curious about that. I'm pretty sure Ampharos is rather slow, right? Yeah, 100. Patrice is going to be a little bit faster. And I'm tempted to go into a uh, a Super Fang. Right into here. Or should I just go into Follow Me? I feel like Super Fang is fine because this thing's just ripping with Heat Wave. So, I'm cool with dropping this. I am cool with dropping this nice little Super Fang here. Half in the damage onto the hit on top. And then drop it a Discharge. If my Ampharos survives, whatever's coming after him. Yep, there goes Heat Wave. And Ampharos, you eat up all day. Beautiful. And what is he going to go for here? He's going to take out one of my Pokemon unless we outspeed. We do outspeed we do outspeed that. So Super Fang comes in here. We have to health. Can you go first, Ampharos? I love it. Ampharos goes before that hit my top. That is huge. Patrice gets a little bit more HP back. And we're going to be able to drop this Discharge. Which is really good. The Discharge comes out here. Get off some damage. And we get a para on the hit my top. Show me the double para. Give it on to the Heatran too. Oh my god. The RNG, baby. The RNG. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. It doesn't get much better than that. Does not get much better than that. Does not get much better than that. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. That is gorgeous. Close combat comes through here. That's going to take out Patry, so I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> we got a double para. We got a double para. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. That's huge. That is huge. Okay, so now that my Patry goes out here, I'm tempted to bring out my uh, my Gyarados and just set him up, right? It just seems like a free setup, right? Oh, but I can't go into Discharge. I would have to protect. I would have to protect it. It's rough. I cannot Discharge. I would have to protect Timnate comes out here, so we're going to drop a uh, physical attack, and I might just protect and go into a discharge here, right? What is my play? What do I just Dragon Pulse? I think I'm just going to Dragon Pulse, take you out, and then just water Pulse. Definitely my play, right? Pick up the easy double kill, roll off from there. Dragon Pulse should be able to take him out, I think. He goes for a first time priority move. He's paralyzed. That's That stinks, man. I I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Yo, RNG doing us so good right now. The double paralyze. The double. Not one, but two paralyzes on discharge. We love it. Dragon Pulse is going to fly through here. Should be able to take him out. He's minus one on special defense, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Dragon Pulse comes out here and yo, leaves him on one. Get out of my face. We don't like that one bit. Leaves him on one. So we have Ampharos chilling here. He's looking to go for like a bullet punch for a first turn priority. So I could protect the Ampharos and set up the uh, Dragon Dance, but it really depends who he goes into here. It really does depend who he goes into. Let's just see what he does. But yo, the double paralyze. That was huge. That was huge, yo. Ampharos already coming to play. It came to play today. Wants the wins all day. But we still have Scissor in the back, which is really, really good. And we did get rid of his Heatran, which is huge. Heatran was really the only threat to our Scissor. And now we have Scissor just chilling here, which can dump on this Espeon. Who he brings in. Espeon is a really cool Pokemon. And then from here, do I really want to Swords Dance up or Dragon Dance up? I think it's going to be my play. I think I'm just going to Dragon Dance here and protect my Ampharos. Because, like I said, he's going for a first turn priority move to try to take out the Ampharos. See what he does here. He goes for Psychic into me. And oh, is he doubling down on my Gary? Oh my god, that did way too much damage. That did way too much damage. Yo, please hit my top. I need hit my top going after the uh, Ampharos. If it doesn't, we pretty much lose. Go after the Ampharos. Go after the Ampharos. He's paralyzed again. Yo, dude, that is huge. That is enormous. That is enormous. Okay. So from here, uh, I might just go for a Discharge. I might just go for a discharge. Now we're gonna take you out, and I'm just gonna go for a waterfall. Get off as much damage as I can on this Espeon. Wow, dude, that Espeon did a ridiculous amount of damage. He's paralyzed. Yo, I'm sorry. I think he's trying to protect. That's three turns in a row. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. But waterfall comes out here. That's GG's now. That is GG's now. Yo, dude, this hit my top. He's just getting marked by my paralyzed. Three in a row. Yo, I apologize to this guy. RNG's on our side. I would definitely be freaking out if I was him. So. So I, I, I gotta I gotta be a little humble about this one. <laughs> but yo, three paralyzes, dude. This guy's this guy's freaking out. He throws out his final Pokemon, you pick up a double kill there, and it's gonna be this lovely little crawl on. Lovely crawl on, and I'm just gonna drop a discharge. Because if I can land discharge, that'd be gorgeous. And I'm just gonna drop a waterfall. Maybe look for a flinch here. You know, waterfall has a chance of flinching. This small chance. It's like 
And this guy just cancels battle, and there it is, yo. One and O to get this video started. Let's get it. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're giving our last opponent a rematch here. We got to give him another chance. RNG definitely did him dirty there. The paralyzes got to him, hit him on top, missed three turns due to that. That's a little rough. So we're giving him another chance here, and he did switch up his team though, which is pretty cool. So we're going up against a totally different team. He's got Togekiss, Pachirisu as well, so we get double Pachirisu in this battle. Also a Garchomp, Latias, hit him on top. And Rotom Wash. Okay, how am I going into this one? How am I playing this? I feel like Scissor is an absolute must spring, but I don't think I should lead him. I don't think I should lead him. I kind of want to lead Heracross here. With the Flame Orb, gotta love it. You can't go wrong with it. I'm going to go in with that. And then uh, maybe go in with Gardevoir, because Gardevoir could be so good up against a Latias, who's a typical lead. He also has to hit on top, who's a typical lead. So I got to bring him in, here, right? Yeah. Gardevoir, Heracross lead, Scissor coming in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Gyarados or, or Ampy? Where do we go Ampy here? Gyarados is the better call, but Ampy is fun. What do I do? Let's have some fun. Let's go Ampharos here. <laughs> like I said, Gyarados is definitely the better call. If I actually wanted to like fully win this battle, I would bring Gyarados, but I want to win this one with a little bit of pizzazz, yo. So we're bringing Ampharos out here, and we're rocking out with that Pokemon. But let's go, guy. Let's go. He has 10 seconds to pick, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a back-to-back -back win here in battle number two. In battle number two. But yeah, I, I was sitting there, and I was just like, dude, I have to get this guy a rematch. I have to. It was just like, dude, he lost three turns of paralyzes. I paralyzed his Heatran and his him on top at the same time in one move. It was just, it's just rough. It is just rough. But he's going to send out his lead, which is going to be Garchomp and Togekiss. Beautiful. Beautiful. We don't mind this one bit because I can jump a Dazzling Gleam. It can hit, uh, it can hit Garchomp regardless. So that's a really solid turn. Really solid turn. So I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to wait for our, uh, our, uh, flame over the proc just so we can do more damage and then we can have Guts rolling. So, I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Like I said, Gardevoir is just a lovely little Pokemon here. If he swaps to Garchomp here, I kind of want to pull the Gardevoir back, because I really want the Gardevoir for the back end here. It could just work wonders. But we'll see what it does. We shall see what this lovely Garchomp is going to do. But yo, that lead looks so good. The Togekiss and Garchomp, just two very cool Pokemon. Two of the best Pokemon in this format. In BDSP format. But yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy the BDSP content. We, we, as you guys know, I do a little bit more Sword and Shield than this. But whenever I hop over this, I always have a good time. It's definitely something different, and I know a lot of people enjoy it as well. So if you do enjoy it, leave a like on today's video. And then leave a comment and if you're not subscribed, you know. You know, subscribe. But he's going to end up withdrawing the Garchomp, so good play by him. We're going to get off a free Dazzling Gleam and a uh, free little Flame Orb hit here. And he's going to go into him on top, and that's pretty solid for us. That's pretty solid for us. Because he's going to go into that... And we're going to be able to get off a nice lovely Dazzle Gleam off of that. Which can do a decent amount of damage. I protect my Heracross here. Hopefully he's going for an Air Slash into the Heracross. That can be big. And we'll just go from there. So Dazzle Gleam flies out here. Uh, send it. And build. Huge damage on the hit on top. We love it. We love it. And a Flamethrower is going to come through here. And we lock that up. So good protect for us. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But the real question is, can we, uh, can we outspeed that Togekiss? Can we outspeed that Togekiss? What is your speed, Heracross? I think you're rather fast. 150? Eh. I've seen faster, but I think, I think we could be able to outspeed that. I could go into close combat if I want to, or a Mega Horn, but they're both not very effective. So, Facade's going to be the play. We're just going to Facade down. He's going to fake out one of my Pokemon, and I'm just going to go into it. You're allowed to fake out one of my Pokemon, because A, I can't protect my Heracross again, and B, my Gardevoir does not have protect. It's Chewy Scarf, so we're just ripping into that as it leaves. Like I said, I want to swap my Gardevoir, but in this instance right here, we have like the, the advantage. We have the speed. He doesn't have really anything to take me out in one shot. I think we're fine with just rolling out with this. So we'll see. Him on top's got to be going for a fake out, but I think he's deciding on who to fake out. But still, him on top's doing that strut. Look at him, yo. Where's him on top at? Show me him on top. He's strutting around doing this cool little dance. I'll do it with him once we see him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that strut, baby. I love it, yo. I love it. It's so funny. It is so funny. He's going to end up faking out my uh, Heracross, which is a fine call. And I think he's going to double down and take me out. Take out my Heracross. But Gardevoir comes into another Dazzling Gleam. We take out him on top, no problem. And we'll roll from there. I think Flamethrower does come through here and he takes me out, right? I flinch and Flamethrower does come out here. We might be able to eat that up. Make it happen, Heracross. Make it happen, dude. Nah, no shot. No shot. I think it's absolutely dumps on because he got a crit. It's got to be Scope Lens, right? Okay, that's fair. That is fair. I was going to say, maybe you can eat it up because it's not a, a stab move, but that's totally fine. We'll bring out Scissor from here. Wipe out that thing all day. I probably should have swapped into the Scissor. Actually, would have been a bad call because, you know, this thing's ripping with Flamethrower, but we'll go from here. Who's he going to throw out next? He's going to throw out Rotom. Rotom comes out. So Rotom coming out here. I'm just going to drop a nice, lovely bullet punch, even though I think this thing's going to protect, and we'll just keep ripping with Dazzle Gleam, chipping up some damage. 
Solid turn. Yeah, see, I knew it was protected. Why didn't I just make the read? Why didn't I just make the read? I don't know why I didn't just make that read. It was an easy read. That was like the easiest read. I said it way beforehand, too. I was like, I'm going to bullet punch into this Togus, even though I know it's protecting. <laughs> I really just did that. He's going to go for a discharge. That's totally fine. My boy should be able to soak us up. As long as he doesn't get double paralyzed. Could you imagine if RNG comes back to bite us here? If it comes back to bite us, I'd be upset. I think it is rocking the leftovers, which is pretty cool. And I wonder what he's going to do from here. I think we just keep bullet punching. Right? Bullet punch. Bang. Gleam. Bang. Send it. Send it. If he wants to swap the Garchomp, that's totally fine. He can swap the Garchomp. I'm cool with that. I have Ampharos in the back, which isn't too bad. But I can't really do anything up against the, uh, the Garchomp. So we 1,000% need this Gardevoir for that Garchomp. So I might have to swap this card at a certain time. Might have to do it, just so we can drop Moonblast on that. He's going to go for another Protect, but it fails. That's a lovely turn for us. Full Punch, Fly Surreal, send it, build later. Cool. We dropped that Pokemon all day, and now he's going to be forced to bring out the Garchomp. Now he's going to be forced to bring out Garchomp, and I might swap Gardevoir next turn. I might swap Gardevoir next turn. Actually, I think we're fine with that. This charge is going to fly through it. Just no paralyzes. Please, no paralyzes. Please, no paralyzes. Okay. Oh, that's ugly. Don't double down. Oh, my God. No. No, yo. The RNG coming back to bite us. It is coming back to bite us. That's rough. Nah, dude, that's rough. That's real rough. We don't like that one bit. Oh, my God. That's ugly. That is so ugly. He's going to go in the guard chomp here. Oh. Oh. That is ugly. That is ugly. Ugly man. That is ugly. We gotta go into a bull punch here and we have to go for another for a gleam here. Oh dude, come on. Hate this game. Bull punch five through here. Yeah, send it. We'll chip up some damage and can Gardevoir get rolling here. Gardevoir still has that choice card, but can go it's pretty fast. EQ is gonna come out here. That's tough. Can you eat that up, Gardevoir? Gardevoir might be able to eat that up. Bro, dude, the paralyzes. Not the RNG doing us dirty like that. Oh my god, I should never went up against this opponent again. That is hilarious, though. What comes around goes around, baby. What comes around goes around. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. We're going to have to throw out this Ampharos, but yo, he's just going to drop it and take me out one shot. So, you know what? I'm just going to run this battle. I'm just going to run this battle. Actually, I'll give Ampharos a shot here. We'll give Ampharos a shot. We'll go into Dragon Pulse. But again, EQ is probably just flying here. Dude, that is so rough. Nothing more rough than that. Nothing more rough than that. Wow, that's hilarious though. That, that's that's great. That's great content. That's great content. Burst our opponent, beat him due to RNG, and then he does the same thing to us. So we even out. We even out on the board. But I wonder what this guy's thinking about. I wonder what he is thinking about. Maybe he goes into like a dumb move and misses. And RNG comes back our way. Let's see what he goes into. Yeah, EQ all day. That, that should take us out one shot. We don't have a shoot compare or anything. Garchomp hits way too hard. <gasps> we eat. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. Wait a minute. Take this thing out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jeans is still here. Jeans is still here. I'm 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 here to play. I came to play. I came to play. We're on eight HP. We need to see him miss miss another move. He's probably gonna go into a thunderbolt at this point. Or maybe he thinks maybe I'm like volt absorb or something. So maybe he goes to another Hydro Pump and potentially misses. Go to a Discharge here. Hydro Pump miss. Hydro Pump miss. Hydro Pump miss. Hydro Pump miss. I swear, yo. If we pull this off, you guys owe me six zillion dollars. And a sub. And, and, and a sub. And a sub. We'll take a sub. <laughs> but let's see, dude. He might think I'm Volt Absorb. Because doesn't Ampharos learn like Volt Absorb? I think it's one of those Pokemon that does. He goes into a Thunderbolt. Yeah. He rips me out. He rips me down. How dare you? How dare you, you little biscuit. Takes me out. Solid battle for battle number two. Let's hop to a third and look for a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves some winning record for today's video. Going up against a very, very tough squad right here. Pelipper, Ludicolo, and King Just Swift Swim Rain Squad. Alongside with Scizor, Zapdos, and Snorlax. That's looking real rough for us. That I'm not going to lie. That's looking rough for us. I'm going to go Ampharos here. Alongside Patrice, I just feel like both these Pokemon really do work. We got to bring Gardevoir. Gardevoir gets some work done. But the Scissor can do us dirty. The Scissor could definitely do us dirty. Actually, do I even bring Gardevoir? Gardevoir could be good, but it's just like, dude, he's going to bring the Scissor, right? He's going to bring the Scissor, and that's just like tough news. We died of that in one shot. So maybe we'll go Gyarados and Scissor over own. Right? Sounding good. Looking good. I dig it. 
roll out. Let's roll out, people, and look to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Yo, tough, tough second battle there. RNG does dirty. But like I said, comes around, goes around. Happened to uh, our opponent in battle number one. We rematch him. Happens to us in battle number two. But let's see if we can grab ourselves a winning record here. A lovely little winning record. He's going to throw out Snorlax and Kingdra. The Snorlax Kingdra comes out here. I'm kind of cool with that. Ampharos Patrice is going to get the lead for me. Um, He could belly drum. He could definitely belly drum. And I think from here, I just discharge. Oh, I could Dragon Bolt. But I kind of like the discharge just for the heals and the power chance. And I super fang over onto the slot. But Snorlax is really bulky. It has a lot of HP. So I do like it. He's going to end up protecting Kingdra. I'm cool with that all day. I'm fine with that all day. Super Fangs can come out here. We're going to half its health. And maybe, just maybe, he's going for like a belly drum or something. Let's see what it, what we do from here. So this charge pops out here. We do no damage to a patch suit. And we're going to chip up this, uh, this Snorlax. We're going to do a good amount of damage on this Snorlax. I wonder what he's going for. Self-destruct, maybe? What is this thing going for? What is up with that protect? Is this self-destruct? High horsepower. Okay. High horsepower comes into Ampharos. Ampharos stable soak. We like that all day. We like that all day. So from here, uh, do I discharge? I kind of want a Dragon Pulse. I kind of want a Dragon Pulse. Well, I can chip up some damage on this Pokemon. And she's going to follow me. That's going to be my play all day. That is going to be my play all day. He withdraws. I knew I should have discharged. He's going to bring out his lovely little Pelper. Isn't he? Pelper coming out. You son of a biscuit, dude. I knew. Mm, I knew it. Should have stuck with the, uh, with the big guns there. Just stuck with the big guns with the discharge. But it's all good. We're going to follow me this shot. And I could have Volt absorbed some moves too, which could have been good. And he's going to go for a Dragon Pulse here. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that all day. Patrice should be able to soak. Citrus Berry is going to poke, and we get Discharge next turn. I'm with it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Loving it. So Citrus Berry giving us some more HP. Do that. And then Dragon Pulse is going to fly across, which is really good news. Dragon Pulse coming in hot. Oh, send it. Coverage move. Chipping up some damage. And oh, oh that's ugly. Almost taking him out. Almost taking him out. But, uh, yeah, now we can just go into a discharge here, pop that, and then go into a nice little lovely little follow me here, which I really like this turn. Because I don't think, uh, I don't think Kingdra can take me out unless he goes for a Hydro Pump, right? And the Hydro Pump has a chance of missing. Should be good. But hopefully he's just going for a straight Dragon Pulse. I'll dig it. I'll dig it a lot. Let's see what he goes for. He goes into a Hydro Pump, and of course he goes into a Hydro Pump. Can you somehow eat this, Patchy? I love you forever. He does not. That's rough. That is rough, dude. That's rough. He goes to the Hydro Pump. Nice call. Can Ampharos out speed Pelper? That would be nice. That would be nice if Ampharos can out speed Pelper, but I don't think it can. Pelper might be a little bit faster. But we do. That's cool. That is, that's a lovely turn right there. This charge pokes out here. We get rid of Pelper. We get rid of Kingdra. That is solid. That is solid, solid, solid. And now we can roll off from here. Okay, so who do I think he has in the back end? He's going to have to throw up both his Pokemon. So I think Gyarados is going to be the call because, you know, Intimidate. And then they can't swap. So I really do like that. So we're going to throw out him. Plus it's raining. Waterfall can do a little bit more damage. And then we'll have Scissor in the back here. Which is good. Ludicolo comes out here. Ludicolo. I love me some Ludicolo. Cool Pokemon. Definitely cool Pokemon. Swift swimming up. And then his final Pokemon is a Storm. The lovely Storm. Which we already knew. We already knew about the Snorlax. But not about this Ludicolo. So from here, I think Ice Fang is probably just for play. Chip up some damage there. Or I can just, you know. I can just go into this. And I could Dragon Dance if I really want to. Or I could just straight up Waterfall. Ice Fang. Dragon Dance is looking good, but he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. He's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. So, you know, we're just going to go into an Ice Fang here. Let's see what he does. He does not go into fake out. He straight up Giga Drains. He straight up Giga Drains. I have Scissor in the back end. That's looking fine. Because I can just bull punch Snorlax, take him out, no problem. And then just focus out on this little Cole. So, solid third battle from us. We coming in hot. Give me a Freeze, though. No Freeze. And Covet's coming out. A little scary. A little scary there. Covet. <laughs> Covet flies through. We're pulling out our scissor. We're straight up bullet punching, and we're just going to keep tackling on this Ludi Cole. And this battle's looking pretty good for us. Looking pretty solid for us. Bullet punch flying through it. Should do enough damage to take that thing out. And I'm kind of curious to see if Waterfall can actually do more damage than that Ice Fang. This stab, it's in the rain. I can definitely see it doing that. He protects the Snorlax. That's fine. That's fine. Scissor, again, should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer. Good old Scissor. And then Waterfall's going to fly through here. Hydro Pump. Oh, yo, this thing's ripping. Hydro Pump. That's, that's a little scary. Scissor, you should be able to eat that up, right? Right, Scissor? Yeah, all day, Scissor. All day, Scissor. Waterfall comes through here. And, and is this going to do more damage than, uh... I don't know. I don't know if it did more damage than Ice Fang. And we pop a berry. He pops a berry. He pops a berry. Hopefully this thing's not landing double protect. That could be rough for us. 
But I'm just gonna bullet punch here. And you know what? I'm just gonna sword or dragon dance. Get a nice little attack boost. Get a speed boost here. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. He goes for oh, we protect Ludicolo. That's a great turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. He, we just won the battle there. He was keeping it close, but oh no way that Snorlax just survived there. Oh god. No way that Snorlax survives on one. No way. No way. No way he survives on one. Get out of my face. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Nah, that's fine. We survived pretty much on one. <laughs> but that thing survived on legit one. Look at that. He's probably going to protect that thing. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into this. And I'm just going to double down. I'm just going to double down right into this. Goal. Rain stops. Let's run it. Does he protect? He does not protect. Ice Fang comes out here. Built. And then Exeter should go next. Which is cool. And then we should just be able to take out this, uh, this Ludicolo with Exeter. Because there's no way Swanax is faster than Scissor. Cool. Exeter flies through here. Get out of here, Ludicolo. That's GG's. That is GG. Snorlax is probably going to take out my Scissor. My Gyarados outspeeds this uh, Snorlax all day. Waterfall can take it out, no problems. Let's go, yo. Winning record coming from Jeans, baby. Nice, lovely winning record coming from Jeans. Yo, know, that, 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 our opponent was scaring us there for a little bit. He was, I'm not going to lie. He hydro pumped into my Scissor. I was like, oh, are we going to survive that? And then he, uh, he protected that Snorlax. And then he uh, got the one, the one HP. Like, look how low that is. Look how low that is. But we go into Waterfall. It connects. There it is. Let's go. Another winning record for BDSP Double Battles. What a set of battles for today's video. Ended up grabbing ourselves yet another winning record for BDSP Double Battles. And this team right here was definitely super, super fun. We had the Ampharos and Pachirisu combo. We got Gardevoir with that Choice Scarf, which is always solid. Gyarados and Scissor, again, always solid Pokemon. And then we had the Heracross in the back that we didn't get to show off too much. But just know that thing hits like a powerhouse but guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend spots every day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody